So if you're hostage to this dragon, you may find that you're striving to be perfect. You're wanting to be the one who shines in the office, even to the detriment of your own team. So as long as you're receiving all the approval and the recognition and all the awards, then you are happy and satisfied. You may even be micromanaging others, so you could be fairly controlling in that you know in your mind what perfect looks like and you want everything done your way. You may also find that you're quite competitive. You may even be competing with your own team, wanting to be better than them. As I said, you're the one who wants to be the best instead of growing and developing and elevating your own team. And then you may also be comparing yourself with your colleagues and your peers. And if you fear that they're better than you, you're going to place even more energy into competing even harder. And this is going to drain you of energy in the long run. At times, you may even resort to sarcasm as a way to tear people down. And then you tend to swing between wanting to be in the spotlight and not wanting to be in the spotlight. You want the recognition, you want people to compliment you, but on the other hand, you don't want to be in the spotlight because it opens up the opportunity to be criticized and judged, even worse, humiliated. So you hide your real self behind a mask. You don't let anybody see who you really are. And then you convince yourself that you're secretly special. You're better than anyone else. And although the outside world perceives you to be confident and someone who has it all together, on the inside you feel shy, you often feel erratic, maybe a little bit out of control sometimes, and this results in feelings of stress and anxiety. Victims to this dragon also hide behind a mask, so they have very few close friends who they allow to see behind the mask and see them for who they really are. And they put massive amounts of energy into keeping this mask in place so they can actually adapt themselves to whatever it is they think other people want them to be. But as I said, this drains them of energy and often victims to this dragon don't know who they really are. This dragon also creates the illusion that they're a lot tougher and far more resilient than they are. So when captives to this dragon fall sick, they think that they can overcome it really easily and then they don't take the required rest, etc. And then when they fall seriously ill, then they start to lose their self-confidence. They start to feel deeply vulnerable. High levels of stress and anxiety also accompany this dragon because of that continual need to be perfect. And this puts massive strain on the immune system. They also tend to be in denial a lot of the time. They suppress all their negative emotions and that suppression of emotions also results in health issues over the long run because suppressed emotions translate into illness over the longer term. This dragon also blocks creative expression and spontaneity. So it keeps its victims from taking risks. They only compete when they know they can win. And this again, it robs them of the opportunity for any growth and development, and they miss out on so many opportunities and the opportunity to realize their full potential. And it's partly because they're terrified of making mistakes. They're terrified of being humiliated. And this is how the dragon keeps them captive, keeps them playing small, but it also keeps them feeling bored and isolated. And then the impact that this dragon has on relationships can also be fairly severe because, again, people who have the dragon have this mask, so they don't let anyone get really close. So they don't have these really deep relationships with people. They often have a fear of intimacy, which also places a strain on their relationships. And then victims to this dragon are really in the present, as with most of the dragons. And they're either anticipating an upcoming event and what it is that they should be wearing or thinking about all the things that they need to be avoiding, which also then drains energy, or they get stuck in the past and they're rehashing all their, their past humiliating mistakes and experiences, playing them over and over again, which then swings them into that people-pleasing, self-deprecating dragon where they then start to feel low self-esteem and low self-worth.
So through our powerful approach, once this dragon is tamed, then victims of the dragon are able to step into their real authentic self. And this is where you experience powerful alignment with your true self. You experience feelings of calm confidence. You develop these authentic connections with other people, which then results in more fulfilling relationships. And these feelings, genuine feelings of safety, your energy is freed up to focus on your purpose because all that energy that was being channeled into maintaining that mask can now be completely freed and used for your purpose and unlocking your limitless potential. You experience deep levels of satisfaction and then this effortless achievement of your dreams and desires because again, the energy is now free so that you can create, build and manifest your dreams. So through our powerful approach, once this dragon is tamed, then victims of the dragon are able to step into their real authentic self. And this is where you experience powerful alignment with your true self. You experience feelings of calm confidence. You develop these authentic connections with other people, which then results in more fulfilling relationships. And these feelings, genuine feelings of safety, your energy is freed up to focus on your purpose because all that energy that was being channeled into maintaining that mask can now be completely freed and used for your purpose and unlocking your limitless potential. You experience deep levels of satisfaction and then this effortless achievement of your dreams and desires because again, the energy is now free so that you can create, build and manifest your dreams. So through our powerful approach, once this dragon is tamed, then victims of the dragon are able to step into their real authentic self. And this is where you experience powerful alignment with your true self. You experience feelings of calm confidence. You develop these authentic connections with other people, which then results in more fulfilling relationships. And these feelings, genuine feelings of safety, your energy is freed up to focus on your purpose because all that energy that was being channeled into maintaining that mask can now be completely freed and used for your purpose and unlocking your limitless potential. You experience deep levels of satisfaction and then this effortless achievement of your dreams and desires because again, the energy is now free so that you can create, build and manifest your dreams.